Hi everyone, my name is Yukari and I will be making daily process videos um, for the, the month of July as I sketch in my Hobonichi Techo for World Watercolor Month. So let's get started. It's day five of World Watercolor Month and today's prompt is milestone. Um, our youngest daughter just recently graduated from high school and she's always loved sushi. And um, so for any celebratory meal, she would choose sushi as her main meal. Uh, and so today I decided to sketch um, some nigiri of um, tuna and salmon, which are her favorite. So let's get started. Here are my supplies for today. Um, I'm using number five round from Rosemary & Co and number two round from Princeton. And uh, the colors that I'm going to be using, I'm using Perlene Maroon for the tuna. And I mixed uh, Quinn Rose and uh, Hansa Yellow uh, Light actually for the salmon color and I'm using uh, uh, green gold and sap green for wasabi and burnt umber mixed a little bit with quin gold for um, my soy sauce and buff titanium with a little bit of white and a little bit of that salmon color for my ginger. And notice that um, I, I'm not using little strips of paper for my color palette. Um, those little pieces of paper just kind of got all over the place. And I wanted to really record um, and document the colors that I've used. And so I put it in the back of one of my other notebooks. And um, I think that's going to work out better um, for me for the rest of the month. All right. So let's get going with the sketching and painting. Today I'm going to be sketching a, a little plate of nigiri, which are little rice ball things with fish on top, and um, also one that's being dipped into soy sauce. So I made a little saucer that's filled with soy sauce and um, one of the nigiri with chopsticks. And, um, and I'm going to, to be talking a little bit about how to dip your nigiri into su sushi a little later on. So these little two blobs are, well, one is for ginger and one is for wasabi. And um, I'm just kind of quickly sketching um, the three other nigiri. Two are going to be tuna and two are going to be salmon. All right, with the, a quick sketch done, I am going to um, actually outline with my 0.38 Jetstream ballpoint pen. And uh, that way we can see um, my sketch a little bit better. And I, I'm not going to include a whole lot of detail in, in the, the, the pen, I'm just kind of outlining all the big elements here. Okay, so we are using Perlene Maroon for, um, for the tuna and I am doing a very light wash and then just dabbing a little more color into it. And I am going to be adding the veining um, at the end once the, uh, the paint dries. So here's another tuna and I just left the, the center a, a little lighter just for the, the highlights. And my, my salmon is here. And um, I unfortunately overworked my salmon a little bit because I wasn't quite happy with the color. But anyway, so here is ginger. So ginger comes in either pink or just kind of white almost. Um, so I chose to do the, the lighter ginger and um, used uh, Quinn Gold for the chopsticks and my favorite 
color mixture for a shadow is uh, the, the purple color made with ultramarine blue and quin rose. And so just slowly building color here and, and shadows. Um, and so the plate is going to be white. So I'm going to be leaving it um, fairly white for the, the most part and, um, and using a, a more ultramarine blue for, for the shadow underneath and also under the fish so that it kind of looks like it's sitting on on top and um yeah outlining the outside of the the soy sauce cup and then also adding the um the shadow underneath which kind of gives it a little more depth for each one and i'm uh, for the rice part, I'm just dabbing uh, some purplish color um, to, to indicate that there may be some texture going on. And um, that's how I usually do rice. And here's soy sauce. A soy sauce looks black, but when it's on a white plate, it's, it's more of this yellowish, brownish, transparent color. So that's why I chose um, burnt umber and quin gold for for my soy sauce okay so now i'm adding a little more detail um, for my ginger and uh, also for for my fish adding a little more color to the edges um, to create a little more depth for the tuna and also for the salmon and so this is probably when i really overworked my my salmon and then I try to lighten it with white and wow it just kind of instead of being fairly transparent and now it's kind of a mud but anyway sometimes that happens and um, adding a little more shadow to the soy sauce and underneath the um, chopsticks And I am going to be um, adding some veining to the fish in, in just a minute. And notice that when I try to add some uh, shadow to the plate, a little bit of the color from the salmon blood, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm just taking some white. This is uh, not, uh, this is gouache white. And, um, and I'm just, lightly adding <clears throat> excuse me lightly adding the 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 veins for the fish and i wasn't sure if my salmon had completely dried and but it was dry enough that i could add and so notice that i i, I went kind of in a v direction because um, I wanted to convey that there is, you know, thickness to the fish and the veining, if it's going one way, um, it would definitely come back sort of in a V fashion um, on the thickness part. And so, uh, yeah, this is my simple sushi sketch. Here is my completed journal page with... Um, some journaling and my daily affirmation and i probably add a, a, a little more detail to my sketch um, but this is my favorite um, memory sketch uh, a picture of my daughter with sushi this was when she was five and we took her um, to have sushi for her birthday and um, we got this huge <clears throat> sushi boat she totally loved it um, and that smile um is just very precious to me and and now she's graduated from high school how time flies um but anyway so um lots of memories of us having sushi together thanks for watching and um if you like this video please give a thumbs up and you can s subscribe or you can just follow me on instagram it's art by yukari and um, yeah, thanks for watching.